Yo guys, welcome back to Crypto Mastering. My name is Paymon and today we are going through the third part. Third part. <laughs> <laughs> The third part of first season, uh, the basic information, and today we are going through cryptography and hashing. So before that, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification bell. That's if I upload my next video, you will notify first. Let's go. So as you know all our videos are going to actually uh, be continuously so uh, the previous videos I talked about distributed ledger technology so please if you haven't seen it yet uh, first let's go see that one and then come to this video but today we are going through uh, actually the consensus mechanism or method and then after that we are going through uh, cryptography and the hashing so uh, the consensus mechanism or method as you know uh, when data or uh, information register in a protocol or system or any changes happen in the system more than 51 percent uh, of the system should be agree with that so it must have a confirmation related to that plan or the organizer they want to set for that system uh, it means more than 51 percent of the nodes uh, or the actual user should accept it, accept that plan that's or the changes that's supposed to happen to the system or to that uh, protocol. Uh, and if this confirmation actually do not happen, uh, this plan won't organize. So now uh, the society, or it's better to say the consensus, would be the priority, not uh the individual so the so in this method uh it's not gonna be like i don't know facebook or instagram that one person or a group of people actually have the whole authority or access to the decisions but uh what is cryptography let's talk about that it, uh, as you know cryptography was actually used in history and also in world wars uh, the Germans use a lot, like uh, they wanted to transfer messages or any text. They have to send it anonymously and uh, nobody could actually read it. So it was something like a key. And sender and receiver both should have that key to be able to encoding and read that text. So it is something same in Bitcoin and uh, uh, other uh, cryptocurrencies but let's find out how does it works in Bitcoin so as you can see in this picture uh, we have an input like a text or message and uh, there is a function an algorithm that is called hash function and uh, it's changed the input or message to a hash text uh, which is not possible to read normally and uh, the length of that hash is stable and not change no matter how long is the length of the input as you can see the hash uh, the hash sum or the output in all of the messages no matter it is one word one sentence or even one paragraph it will be all same and it's contain uh, letters and words sorry letters and numbers seriously what the fuck are you doing <laughs> Uh, and it's also not uh, reversible. You you can't undo this function. You can't uh, actually uh, just normally transfer this hash through the function and get the input. It's a little bit complicated. So and what's the benefit of this? Of course, it's the first for security and second, it's also organized for <coughs> classifications. Uh, in the Bitcoin, the hashing algorithm that is used for uh, Bitcoin is SHA-256 and uh, we can go through the website to show you how does it work. So this is the workspace of uh, actually uh, hash generator SHA-256. Uh, I will put the link of that in the description. 
it's the same if you just type SHA 256 hash generator you will go through this web page directly so uh, we have a workspace here that you can type anything you like I'm just going to write for example hi hi how are you what what the fuck okay <laughs> and as you can see we have this hashtags the hash the scripts that it gives you just for this high so it's just contain two letters but the script is containing a lot so if you change anything in this uh, text actually or if you try to manipulate or I don't know uh, write something else in it it will be changed so uh, I will for example say hi Payma my name even with, even with the small space it will be changed as you can see you know the first letters are B F S and the last is O 3 D so if I just print if I just click on space if I just click space see all of the letters will be changed but the length of that is stable so if it's for example imagine there are I don't know 30 or 40 uh, letter and numbers if I just type anything else it will be the same but just changing the numbers and letters but the link are the same it is exactly the same for the Bitcoin and uh, this text actually contains or uh, included the transaction in the Bitcoin for example I don't know let's just say Alex trans for one Bitcoin to who, for example, Jennifer. This is going to be just something like transaction. This is not real, and this is not really in real world. <laughs> this is just uh, an example for to see how the transaction work, and it will give you a hash script. So this code must be actually classified and secure so we use this system for that uh, there is also another website that is blockchain.com I will put the link again in the description you can easily search for it and under the Explorer tab if you're coming down you can have the latest blocks and the latest transaction let's go to the transaction view all transaction wow look at this so it is on so it's live actually so it will show each single transaction that happened in the world here so let's just for example turn it off okay as you can see each transaction has a hash the time that this happened which is exactly the same as my time here is 2114 2114 and the amount of BTC in Bitcoin and dollars so let's have let's go into one of them and if you click on one of them you can have the summary the fee which is the actually the wage of this transaction how much you have to pay for this transaction to happen if you put it on USD which is dollar you can have it here this transaction had uh, about 40 cents to happen and here you have the hash which is not complete the complete one is here the details this is the address of the source this is the address of the destination if you're coming down you can have lots of other details the status which is unconfirmed yet the time that is received the size uh, weight I, I'm going to talk about these other uh, actually details in the next video which is exactly I'm going to talk about blockchain and what each block contains in the next video so don't forget to watch the next videos okay and uh, blah, blah 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 what else do we have here yes we have these just this okay good and if we turn back let's just say a little example of the blocks also if you go to the blocks I will show again this website 
on the next video i just want to show uh, a quite bit of that you can each block also have a hash not just one transaction each block also have a hash and show uh, uh, when it's mined uh, what's the miner actually who actually uh, which miner actually confirmed this block the size of the block and also uh, this is the number that you can see here it's the amount of the block that is created until now for Bitcoin which is until now at this moment that I record in this video is 727,192 blocks in the whole blockchain of Bitcoin and again if you go through each one of them you can have the hash and uh, the time the high which is the number of that block the miner which is mined with by ant pool uh, the number of transaction which is actually stored in that block uh, I will talk about nonce which is related to the rewards or the bonus of the miner that received from mining that blocks I will talk about this exactly on the next videos oops where did I go yeah okay so that was all for this section. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it was useful for you. So please, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell. I will talk about blockchain in the next video. Don't forget it. Peace.